if you are currently in one of the section views of your model you will need to go back to your project browser and make the finished floor one floor plan view active so we will double click on the finished floor one floor plan view and make that active there are some modifications that we need to make to the current floor system currently the floor system covers the entire span of the building from left to right and from front to back there are some areas in the floor that we need to open up for example in this area where the stairs are this part of the floor will need to be cut out so the stairs can go from the finished floor one down to the foundation the other area that needs to be cut out is this area here in order for the chimney to come from the foundation floor up through the roof so this area will need to be removed of the floor system in order to allow the chimney to pass through the floor and up through the roof so in order to create openings in the floor system that we have created we will need to edit the floor object to edit the floor object you will need to select all the objects that are in your model or when you make that selection it should select everything that is in your view up in the top you should see a modify tab and you should see a selection option and one that says filter so you will select the filter select the check none button the only category we want to select is the one for the floor so we will put a check in the box beside floors click on apply when you select apply the only object that should be selected now is the floor object click on OK you should have an option under mode that says edit boundary in the draw section we're going to select pick walls you're going to zoom in on the area where the stairs will go and you will select the inside of the wall for the stairs you'll select the inside of this interior wall and what you may have to do if it selects the outside of it you'll need to click on the double arrows to make it come on the inside so we're going to select the insides of those walls and you may come up with an an illustration that looks similar to this then what you would do is in the modify panel of your ribbon you will select the one that says trim extend to corner so we'll click here and click on the parts of the lines that we want to keep in this case we will click on this line and this line here we will click on the horizontal line and the vertical line here the vertical line here and the horizontal line here so we want to make sure that we select or that what's left are these lines here that are on the insides of the interior walls so we'll scroll over to the area where the chimney is and we will draw lines by picking walls 
by clicking on the insides of these walls here. Again, if it jumps to the outside, we just need to click on the double arrows to change the orientation to the inside. Then I will go to the Modify panel, click on Trim Extend to Corner, and I'm clicking on the parts of the lines that I want to keep. So I click on this horizontal line and this vertical line, this vertical line and this horizontal line to create this area here. Once we have these two areas outlined in the mode, we will finish the floor. Would you like the walls that go up to this floor's level to attach to its bottom? We will say no.